new video, new stocking cap. Okay, welcome back. Today is day three, episode two, I guess. Um, I was actually out here yesterday, but um, I have four days that I can come out to do this four days in a row. Today is day three, but uh, by the time I'll be able to actually be done this shed, like it would be like a few weeks before I could get a video out. So I'm kind of trying to break up the videos uh, to, in order to try and make a video on the, you know, around once a week mark. So if only I could just build a shed, my life would be like super easy, but be that as it may, it's not the case. Um, I was pretty excited that the, that I had already brought the materials down and I could just kind of come out here now each day and hike down with just my pack and maybe the chainsaw. But I realized that it's in my best interest if I bring materials out each time I come. Um, so I grabbed some cedar boards from home, cut them to be able to fit in my truck and brought them down with me. Again, it was like, ugh, just same thing, sliding the boards down. My pack is really heavy today because I had to bring a drill and a battery and a bunch of clamps. And of course I have tea and water and some food and some extra clothes and gloves and toques and whatever else I might need to be here for the day. Plan is to, you know, it's windy. I'm gonna try and, it's kind of died down a little bit. I need to cut some trees down today, I'm assuming. I wanna level out this. Uh, floor, put the decking on, get my posts. Now I do have some trees that I got down in the fall that I was going to use for the cabin posts. I ended up changing my mind. I still plan on using those for the cabin, I'm pretty sure, so I don't want to use that as tempting as it is. So I've got a few little bits of trees down that I think I'm going to try and see if they're any good. I'm gonna see if I can get the bark off easily. If I can't, I'm just gonna leave the bark on because this is just an outdoor shed. Um, and then go from there. 10-4, let's get to work. Don't, I might not need to cut much down to do the posts. That's a good size. I'm just gonna spend some time and try and dig that out. I've got a start anyway, and this is all stuff that was just down in the ground, some a little bit buried more than others, but it's a start. Anyway, I'll see what I can use out of here. Lots of these trees I realized last fall when I cut all these down is that there's a lot of critters in the bark. I realize it's the best thing if I can get rid of the bark. So I am going to just work away at this um, and at least get some of it off. 
some of the rough stuff anyway because I do want to draw some lines on the outside and make some cuts with the chainsaw and this and that. So I'm going to just work away at this. Yeah, you know what? It's not bad it's coming off. This is like slow and painful process. It is going pretty quickly though. It's coming off fairly easily. But I'm trying so hard to go so fast. Running out of time. Must heal arc efficiently. While I'm sitting here doing this, I realize that I need two beams for the front and the back. And I need them to be more than six feet. So what I might do is take two of the ones that I've got here that are longer than six feet and then try and scrounge up a couple of different posts for the back, which are going to be shorter because the back is lower to the ground or, you know, more up on the bank. So I'll just have to see once I get the floor leveled, I'll see kind of what height I need. Fourth one. The only thing I can really complain about physically is that my toes are really cold. That wasn't too bad though. Came off easier than I thought. I guess because the wood is frozen. It creates a little icy layer between the wood and the bark, I suppose. Which separates it. Thinking? Don't know. Glad though. So when I tried to do this in the fall, it was a struggle on these bits down here. Oh, I got something fun. Shall we take a trip down memory lane? I had to. How can I resist? Except this isn't cedar, so it's not a cedar chest, it's a tamarack chest. Tamarack chest. A large chest. Whatever you want to call it. Time to change the battery, have some tea and a sandwich, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye! or ice cold but it's got to keep going three o'clock hour and a half more come on Michelle I was going to try and do this all with like a hammer and nails, but I thought I would just be asking for everything to be moving around too much. So that's why I brought the drill and I'm screwing things down. I'm trying to do this with as few tools as possible because everything I bring down here, I have to take back up. So it's just like chainsaw, everything, but that hot tub is going to feel so good tonight. Would you believe me if I told you that the thought had crossed my mind to partially insulate this shed? I made it so that it's long enough that I could fit in it and lay down. I was like, I wonder if I could insulate it and use it as a little sleeping hut so that when I come out here, to build the cabin I have somewhere to sleep 
But then I would have to take everything out of the shed in order to sleep in there and then that <laughs> defeats the purpose of a shed. Plus I have, I then since I decided that that was no good, um, I'm going to put a wall here and this tiny little space is just going to be for little bits of firewood for the tiny little wood stove that's going to go in there. These gloves are so hard to work in. It's a half of a problem. Not really, actually. Okay, it's 20 after four. I just kind of covered everything up and I gotta go. I've just been trying to play around with leveling that thing out. It's crooked as anything right now, but I'm trying to have it so that the back isn't actually sitting on the rocks because I want the posts to be sitting on the rock instead of the floor rim joist. I had it actually pretty level and it was sitting on the two back rocks, but Ever since I started to try and fix it and correct it the way I want it to be, so that the posts are on the ground, it's all out of whack. But I'm gonna call it a day and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. <laughs> okay. Day number four, I am out here. I got here a little bit earlier, probably the earliest I've been out here so far. 20 after 10, it's colder today. It's like minus eight Celsius. Yesterday it was about minus two, I think. Two or three minus two, but there was wind yesterday, which made it feel colder. It's calm right now. So although it's minus eight, it's, there's no wind, which makes an incredible amount of difference. One of the things that on the drive home, of course, it's like almost two hours of a drive. Yesterday, I was just trying to think of how I can be more efficient. Like, I don't have as much time out here to try and figure out what I'm going to do. I need to figure out a little bit more of a plan and be able to execute it without a lot of trial and error, just because my time out here is so limited. And this is the last day that I can come out for a while, at least for sure that I know I'm at work tomorrow. Anyway, one of the things was setting this floor and getting it level. I'm going to change what I'm going to do. I was trying to get it up off the rocks at the back so that the posts were on the on the rocks and notch in the floor into the posts but it was just getting a little bit too complicated so I just have them set down on the rock at the back I have a little piece of pressure treated wood underneath that on top of the rock there and there it's just on the rock I've got things leveled so yeah, so being more efficient, um, I did bring, my pack was pretty heavy today. I did bring four pieces of cedar down, which I have piled over there in my arm. And in my pack, I did end up bringing the Ryobi saw, circular saw, because yesterday I found that I think in the long run for me to make cuts with the chainsaw that way, cutting the boards rather than a circular saw is a little bit more time consuming. So I sacrificed the weight and the battery to uh, make up or to, to be more efficient, I guess. I do need to get, I think I have enough trees peeled to do the two front posts and the front beam and the back beam. I'm gonna get shorter ones for the back because it's gonna be a slope style shed. I just wanna figure out how much I need height wise. And what else, what else can I say? Yeah, it's just hard to get out here. Like, I just feel really bad to leave the dogs. I run a tight ship at home and it's a well-oiled machine when I'm there. 
And when I'm not there, things kind of just go a little bit awry and poor Clyde, Steve was at work longer yesterday than anticipated. And if I'd have known that, I would have asked the neighbor to come over and let Clyde out to pee because I know he can't go the whole day in the crate. He ended up peeing in his crate, which I found out this morning as I was trying to organize everyone to leave. And I was tidying his crate and I noticed it was wet. And so he had peed in there yesterday, which I just feel really bad about because obviously that sucks. He's never peed in the crate before. Uh, yeah, so emotionally, it's hard for me to be away from them. Um, anyway, efficiency is the, is the name of the game today and trying to stay warm. So I kind of calculated that at the back, the two posts that I need to the length that I need is about four feet. It's not going to be that big of a shed. Obviously this is pretty small, but it doesn't need to be big. And this just happens to be like one inch over, it's like 49 inches, one inch over four feet. This off cut, so perfect, I'll use this. And I have that tree down there, right down there that I was peeling last year and I was gonna use that for the cabin, but I looked at that piece there, it's only three feet, that one there, laying on the ground. Um, a couple of the other things are pretty frozen in the ground. So just to save time, I'm going to take four feet off that one there and I'll peel those. And those will be the two back posts. I, for some reason, was under the impression that I needed to have my chainsaw stay in the house overnight. So I had been bringing it back. But Steve said it's fine. So here I was taking it back and forth. Not having to carry this back up is a big deal. how thankful I am it's not windy today. Really thankful. Brr, it's cold. Okay, this one clamp fits. It's the only one that will fit. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I'll take that. back posts ready to be installed. That one doesn't fit quite as nice as the first one, but that is why there are shims. Hi. 
blow my nose. I'm going to take a tea break, try and warm my toes up. But I feel like I'm making a little bit better progress today. I'm going to get those. I'm hoping to get all the four posts up, the two top, the front beam and the back beam. And yeah, I'll just keep going until I can't go anymore. Thankful for my frozen sandwich. For the way I'm building this, I need two more posts because I'm kind of making it two sheds in one. Dang. You know what I mean, right? So there's one, one's got to go here. One's got to go at the back of the same spot because that little area is going to be the closed in part of the shed. And then this area here is going to be for wood, like firewood storage. transfer that up there. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this. How to do this. Something like that. Now. Okay, a bit of a bummer. Um, I didn't quite cut it long enough. Like I think it looks a bit funny and I know that side is higher. I'm gonna trim it, but um, I wanted there to be a little bit more overhang on each end. I was gonna accept the back but that just doesn't look right to me so uh, back to finding another one I'm gonna go find another beam I'll end up using that no you know for sure so it's okay but okay Guys and gals, what do you think? That's it for today. That's it for this video. Um, I need to fix that post. It, 
I just kind of re-looked at it and it's kind of leaning out a little bit. It does, of course, it's not a perfectly straight tree. It does have a lean that way, but I kind of want to accommodate and fix it a little bit because it's noticeable to me, to the eye. I have, I just cleaned up. I spent like the last 20 minutes just kind of tidying up, putting things away. But there I've got the two posts for here and back there. And it's a little after four o'clock and I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> I feel like I made some headway today. Um, as I've said, it's a struggle to get out here, to be out here, but yeah, <laughs> you know that by now. So thank you all for watching and I will see you the next time we're out here and hopefully get a lot more done. Bye.